looking for a missing man, but instead found something they weren't expecting. This afternoon, detectives are still sorting through the details, and KCTV 5's Christina Medina is too. She is live in Lee Summit with what she's learned since this morning. Christina? Yeah, a bizarre story here in Lee Summit. In total, seven hostages found holed up inside this trucking company building that police still have roped off here. Now three men are under arrest. Lee Summit police called in the bomb squad and the robot to make sure there were no other victims here in the area. They also used the SWAT team to make sure everybody that was on the southwest corner of town were not in any danger. Now police got tipped off about this hostage situation when one of the victims, David May, never made it home. His wife called police. Well, when they showed up, they found the seven victims in total, five men and two women, again, being held inside this building here, this trucking company building. Now, they did take three men off in handcuffs to find out exactly what happened here overnight. They are now speaking to the victims at police headquarters. We spoke to one of the victim's girlfriends this morning. It was awful. I was bawling all morning. I felt terrible, but from what I hear, he's okay, so I'm happy and grateful for that. Saying that, that they're being held against their will, and we believe that there was a crime that had occurred, but we're not going to be able to categorize that until we complete all the interviews. <laughs> Now, here is something interesting. Now, that first victim, David May, was actually putting up surveillance video at his business just last night because his place has been broken into several times before. Now, some of this crime was caught on surveillance video. Police are now looking at that and reviewing that, hoping they can answer some more of these questions. Reporting live in Lee Summit, Christina Medina, KCTV 5 News. More live coverage at noon.